Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video we will see how can we find out number of months between two dates. Here I have created sample data where we have start date and end date and our objective is to find out number of months between start date and end date. I will reload this application and at the front end I have created one table with start date and end date. If you see the last line where the start date is 10th of January 2022 and end date is 4th of April 2022, we can see that number of months is 3 which is February, March and April. We are only considering start date and end date months. We are not considering what is the start date, it is the start of the month or it is the end of the month or end date is from start of the month or end of the month. We simply want to find out number of months between start and end date. So I found a very good answer by Rob Wunderlich. I will show you that answer. So Rob Wunderlich has given this answer and I am just creating video on this answer. So all credit goes to Rob Wunderlich. So according to the reply in click community, first we need to find out number of months for start date. So first we will say year of start date will give us year and the same way I can say year of end date. It will give me end date year. Now Now this year start date I will multiply by 12 because we know that every year has got 12 months. So this will give me 24,192 means year 2016 has got 24,192 months and the same way I can do the same for end date as well. So now we are getting number of months for year 2016 and year 2021. This is I am talking about for the first line. Now we need to add number of months here from the date. So what I will do here is I will keep this one in a bracket and then I will add month of my start date and I will keep this one as well inside another bracket and the whole expression will go another bracket. And the same I am going to apply for the end date will give me number of months like this. So now from the end date number of months If I will subtract start number of months I will get total number of months as my final answer. We can even create variable with parameters and we can pass the parameter to get our final answer. I will create variable first. I will copy this expression and then I will create a variable. I will say v number of months and here I will paste this expression and instead of end date I will pass dollar two. Here also I will pass dollar two and start date I will pass dollar one. So $1 is actually my first parameter which is a start date and $2 is end date. So I have created now variables with two parameters. So when I will call this variable with the dollar sign expansion, I have to pass two parameters. So the variable is now created and now I will call this variable here. I will say v number of months. 
I have to use dollar sign expansion and my first parameter is start date and second parameter is end date. I will now get the same output which I was getting using this previous expression. So this is how you can find out number of months between two dates. You can create variable with parameters and you can call this variable with that parameters. Hope you like this video. Thanks and have a great day.